Boom, it's on. Uh, yeah. What was what was I saying? Today, I was saying today we're doing a little uh, promotion. A little talking. We're gonna talk a little bit about fucking business and how you get the heads together and come to a table. You know what? You throw things around and comes a corporation. You become a team and you got some good, strong, motivational people to start with. Some people that know what they're talking about and don't shoot nothing but the real shit. Keep it simple. Come down to your level. Right wow. now, we're gonna talk about a little bit. Oh goddamn, my boy! I'll tell you what. Out of respect. I'm talking to a general, Petraeus, Petraeus. This gentleman right here, uh, can I say this, Dave? You actually held the keys from pin to pin, homeboy, for your people. So, you know what? When it comes down to it, you know, all you motherfuckers talking shit about me like I am not something, you know what? I couldn't fucking hang around people like this and then just have, right? Well, you know what? I could, but for about five seconds and then I'd be brushed off and, you know what? We wouldn't be fucking hanging. We do positive. Well, it's the one and one and one and two. It's like we're God, God. We got what we do. You know what? You know what? I don't know. I don't know what they said on Dave's IQ test, but you know what? Uh, you can't be fucking too far for a fucking genius, all right? And all these guys, all right, black, white, brown, yellow. I tell you what, uh, I met the guy that supposedly uh, shot a cop, Noah, all right? I had met him before, man, and I'll tell you what, it's like this. Uh, he was a 16-year-old kid that was fucking running for his life and fucking turned around and saw a gun come over and pop, pop, pop. And you know what? Uh, that's not how they're gonna say it goes, right? Yeah. Uh, shit like that's fucked up, homie. But yeah. for like this, uh, I see so much potential. Yeah. Okay. Corner. Yeah. You know what I mean? For like this, you know what? There's a lot of good cops, okay? And I know for a fact. You want to know why? There's a lot of dead cops. <laughs> well, you know what? I didn't say that, but you know what? It, it's it's the it's the uh, way you look at it, okay? Yeah. For like this, this gentleman should be fucking paid. Where are we at on time, homie? Well, 206. 206? Okay, put it like this. I'm in Crazy Joe's abnormal. What's that? Oh. oh, you know what? My bad. Put it like this. Crazy Joe is doing his thing. That's why people are coming to the door to do, you know, to get there. Uh, Crazy Joe's tattoos. And uh, you know what? This guy. This gentleman, uh, yeah, behind bars, he was a fucking general. I mean, make no mistake about it, okay? Uh, make a shot caller, this whoop whoop. And you know what? They were trying to keep their people from not going to war because the cops are making all these fucking rules and shit, you know, trying to get people hemmed up. And it's what the rich do to keep the smart people down that have minds, man. I mean, I'm talking. People like me can make an impression. Oh, you know what? Uh, you know what? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see this gentleman in Hollywood, homeboy, playing a fucking smart barky, you know, in Hollywood? Oh, yeah. And make no mistake, uh, Harry Gopal, are you the videographer, okay, on this little rendition? Yeah, I am. Yeah, okay. Homie, when I say that you, when you sit back and you got, uh, uh, what is it, Anthony Zampano, okay, because he knows. You're like a, you're like a million dollar kid. Okay, and this like right here, uh, 10, 20, 30, okay, and uh, it's like this, what I was thinking, it'd be cool to get everybody together, you know, black, brown, white, uh, did I miss anybody, okay, you know what, no intent, um, yeah, well, you know what, it's all about getting together, uh, put like this, I stopped by, let's go this way, don't be missing me, we're doing that, oh, you know what, You know what? My bad. <laughs> it's all right. You know what? Put it like this. I was being theatrical. Uh, we can do it how we can do it. Uh, Rick Bardell. Um, yeah. <laughs> Harry Gopal. I mentioned that name, and Harry Gopal got a big smile on his face, homie. And he's like, yeah. You know what? He saw that. Boom. I snatched your head with the right hand. And you know what? You're finally getting your props, homeboy. You're the heavyweight. Oh, wait a minute. Super heavyweight champ. And I'm thinking that what I'd like to do is uh, have a big party, okay? You know, uh, and have a big party just like we had for someone that got out but behind bars. And I stopped by and I gave him a little white powder. And then, did I, did I not? Boy, it's legal. It's stevia, baby. Let's have a stevia slash pretend cocaine, okay? And then wing it, right? Uh, let's have a party uh, around the world. And yes, did I, did I not break off a little green and say, there, you know what, smoke it, combine it, you know, it's all good. Uh, and we 
should take care of people like that. So what I'm doing is I'm fixing another little movie, okay? And this is for every hottie in the Sacramento area that wants to get in a car. Oh, put, put it like this, five minutes? Okay, <laughs> in five minutes, girl, I can actually play the violin and rock your world, okay? Oh, yeah, I've said this. You know what? Let me create a deja vu moment, okay? And please, uh, you're not the first, okay? So don't get asked it because it's worth it. Uh, yeah, yeah, when I put my mouth on your beep, um, and I play the violin, you know what, after the first four or five, what I'm going to do is uh, stop and I'm going to say, I wasn't teasing, was I? And she's going to start to say something, and I'm going to start to do what I was doing before, and <laughs> it's going to keep her mouth completely fucking quiet, right? And then we can go for an hour or more, you know? And um, <laughs> Yeah, my white skin, and the only reason I can say that is because, thank you, Placer County, Placer County, oh, thank you. You know what? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been sent to Ad State Folsom Prison where I could, you know, become friends with Jeff Scott, uh, another guy that's up there on the fucking, yeah, okay? Well, yeah, and you know what? It's like this. That's what the rich do. They pit everybody together, you know, because there's not enough. They set up fights. You know, oh, they do it on purpose, and I've seen it. And you know what? I mean, on TV, you know, uh, I don't want to get too deep in this because then the cops start hating on this. And you know what? Oh, you know what? Well, it's like this. Uh, if you are a true motherfucking gangster, if you're a true gangster and you want a tattoo, you come, you know what? You come down to Crazy Joe's tattoo and, uh, Dave Roney be here and I'll say the same shit to your face. Well, you know what? Uh, Dave Roney, Dave Roney's going to get, when I get rich, when I get rich, and Harry Gilpaul, is this or is this not true? that uh, I, I should be on TV, like with black guys boxing with the fucking speed, but I'd be white, you know? But I, I, I mean, like, as a heavyweight, that I, if, if I said this right here, that I could actually, now how do I look after 45 days? You know what? I mean, I wasn't doing much, but if I said that I could actually stay out here, boom, and you know what? Boom, you know, pot shot, and, I mean, and, and basically, boom, you know, date club, you know? I mean, all these guys talking shit on me, you think that I can actually take over and fuck everybody in MMA up? Rick Fardell. Yes. Am I saying the truth? Harry Gopal. Am I saying the truth? Yeah, you'll fuck Rick Fardell up. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what? Maybe. Okay. You know what? Uh, after I do that, we can start a stepping stone. And I'm saying that cage fighters should be getting paid like Floyd. Okay. You know what? Floyd would get his ass kicked at a cage fighting party. You know what? If Floyd came to a cage fighting party... With his attitude, he'd be like, <laughs> beep, are you nuts? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, we'll fucking chuck your punk ass out, dude, you know? But they're not getting paid. And is this me? You know what? Um, winding this down, uh, Crazy Joe's Tattoos, 470 That's it. Uh, yeah. And, uh. Joe said that uh, he think about buying stevia for Big Dave Roney. So he comes back to looking like he did when he was 27. Cut.